Valley Strikes and Spares. We have to transform our assembly out with the rectifier. What I have to do is take this off and desolder all these wires that are on the back of it, which is a bunch. Basically every wire you see on this side and every wire you see on this side. I'll have a function and go to this board that you can see that has been repaired and um, <laughs> clearly has had issues over the years. So this is garbage. You can see it in the valley. Um, yeah, this will go into the garbage and we will be putting a brand new one on. But yeah, the cabinet I just went through, vacuumed it all out. Um, went through all the displays and um, fixed all the cold solder joints. Basically, I just went and refloated every display. I wasn't going to play around with them. Um, I took one out and I found a couple of bad solder joints on them. Well, cold solder joints. It's basically when the, I my last video I said that they just get dried out. No, they don't get dried out. It's from the connectors being taken off and whatever, and just vibrations from the machine and just years of, you know, pinball abuse. The machine gets shaken and um, you do get cold solder joints on certain things. But um, yeah, a lot of these boards, they just, the solder joints fail. It's basically, um, I'll give you a, a look at these right here, where the pins are. Just where they go through the board, they just they they just crack, and then you get intermittent signals, and um, just goofy issues. So, um, like I said, I just went through this. These are all brand new ones. That's why they're all shiny. But same original connector. No reason to replace that. I did put um, new standoffs on here because we had a couple broken ones. The other ones were fine. So yeah. I'll get rid of this head and throw it off to the side and start working on the bridge rectifier.